Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today our topic about uh, the signs of the Judgment Day and the video very well known in YouTube. Muslims, they have more than a million people watch it. You know, always I say a fraud is a fraud. It doesn't matter how many people watch it, how many people support it. And today I will show you a clear example of the fraud they do. Uh, please invite your friends and don't forget today uh, after we finish here, we are going to go to the other account, which is the quality of life. And uh, uh, the, the, the link is down in the info. Click and join us uh, if you like to continue with us in the other account, which is have nothing to do with the cult of Islam. Uh, is the sound good and coming? Am I heard? I hope so. So uh, uh, the Muslims, they have a very... Uh, well-known video it's called signs of last days or last day miracles of muhammad i mean imagine muslims even claim that those are miracles and what is the miracle if you if you if you watch the videos you will die laughing but just to show you the corruption the hadith which they are quoting about what they call miracles which is nothing but a stupidity, by the way. We will read it, you know, we read it slowly, and we will check it out, and you will see that even the hadith they are using to prove Muhammad to be a, a prophet, uh, proving Muhammad to be false if this hadith is true. However, I did, uh, like, you know, as usual, you know, I am a person who don't take pe what people say for granted. I just go and check, and you can do the same. The hadith they are reading is the same hadith, which is this. This is Islam and answers, a question and answer website, which is run by scholars. The question here, how authentic this hadith of Ibn Mas'ud about the conditions of the hours? And this is exactly the hadith which they are reading. Guess what? The hadith is mawdu'ah. Mawdu'ah means fabricated. Is what is fabricated. I will use Google Translation to show you right in front of your eyes that in, in, in order, you know, the, the funny about the Muslims, the Muhammadan, if I show them a hadith which is da'if, da'if is accepted, not fabricated. Da'if is not considered fabricated. They say it's da'if. This is fabricated hadith. I will use Google Translation in front of your eyes and you will die laughing seeing how stupid this claim is. So let us do so, you know, let us translate using Google. And in case you do not know what mawdu'a uh, uh, mean, uh, we will show you in Islamic website what mawdu'a mean. Mawdu'a mean fabricated. Here we go. Let us go here actually. This is another website. Uh, Give me a second, just to show you what mawdu'a mean. <laughs> I mean, no dignity, no honesty, for the sake of winning a war of deception. Everything is possible. This is their Muslim website. Mawdu'a. Mawdu'a, fabricated, fraud. Do you see it? This is what mawdu'a. So why you are quoting something you Muslims yourself accept to be fabricated? Shame. Let us go and see what the Islamic websites say about this hadith. I will use Google Translation in front of your eyes. And you will see with me. You know, when a sheikh, he read the fabricated hadith. Obviously, he is a fraud like he's a prophet. And if this religion is not religion of a fraud, so how they are using fabricated story about their prophet to make it that their prophet said what he said? Translate it, please. English translation. Be my witness. All right, question. And authentic, the, how, how authentic the hadith of Rimi Saud about the signs of the hour? This is the question given to them by a Muslim. And the Muslim sheikhs are going to answer us. Hmm? What is the answer?
Actually, the, the translation is not correct. The hadith is not established. It's mawdu'ah. It's fabricated. And it is not proven from the messenger of Allah. Do you see it? It's not what? In Arabic, it says mawdu'ah, fabricated. And then the hadith, mawdu'ah, again, this is the word mawdu'ah, which means fabricated, is not proven to be from the messenger of Allah. Actually, in Arabic, it says it cannot be linked to the Prophet of Allah, period. And then they read the hadith for us, they translate the hadith. Uh, this is Google translation. They post the hadith here. And then at the end, they say, all the scholars, they admit and they say that this hadith is fabricated. And here they are giving you the, the reason for that because it is uh, uh, contradict other hadith of the Prophet and because the reporters of the hadith, they are a bunch of liars. They are very well known to be liars. So how a hadith, which is a fabrication, became number one for Muslims, a way to prove that Muhammad is a prophet? Any Muslim can give us an answer? And here they are giving you a list of scholars who reject this hadith. Amazing. However, I want to accept the hadith. What do you think about that, guys? Me, myself, I'm going to accept the hadith. So just for a laugh, because this hadith is true. Muhammad is a fraud again. If you go to the hadith, which is here, you will see Muhammad saying things which anybody can say. You know, the Bible says long before Muhammad that people betray each other, people lie each other, each other. This is the signs of the judgment. They just say nothing new. So Muhammad came 600 days after Jesus and he said the same. That would be really stupid. Secondly, in the video here, they translated the word <coughs> at bar as dishes, satellite dishes, satellite dish. How in the world? <coughs> Let me get some water. <coughs> How in the world that come to exist? Muhammad says tawasul al atbaq. Atbaq means the stranger. The, 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 the you know usually the Arab they are people who they, uh, people of tribe. As example, all the town of uh, or the village of uh, Muhammad they are one tribe. There's no mix of a tribe. So the hadith saying tawasul al atbaq, which means the, the separator, the the, the 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 tribes who they are in tribes. They are not one family they will communicate, you know, which means something wrong to happen because you should be tied to your tribe. How this is became so like this, we do not know. But however, if we go here and we read what Muhammad, he said. He said from the conditions of the hour that the one who betray, he will be trusted. But well, this is happening every day. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he entrusted the Jews to protect the Torah, and then they betray Allah. <laughs> so this is the, from the sign of the Judgment Day. People, they do that every day. Secondly, and you al Amin, and the one who is trustworthy, he will not be trusted no more. And then they show you a picture of Obama. I mean, I, 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 I agree with you, Obama is a fraud. He, you know, he was a Muslim, he pretended to be Christian. But it's funny to say that the one who is a trustworthy will not be trusted. Well, isn't you Muslim, you say Muhammad was a trustworthy and the Arab refuse him? That's mean judgment, they happen already. And then he says from the signs, Tawasul al atbaq which means the stranger will be connected. The one who is separated. You can go in the hadith and type the word atbaq you will find that atbaq is either mean the stages or baths or like uh, uh, there is separation between them. Uh, and those who they are, and this is why he says, you see, this is how you prove the, the, the point you are saying. Tawasul al atbaq wa taqatu'ul arham. Taqatu'ul al arham, which means those who they are from one family, they will not be communicating with each other. And those who they are strangers, they will be communicating. So suddenly, the stranger communicating and the family not communicating, that became dish, a satellite dish. 
And then uh, he continues saying uh, that from, from uh, the sign of the judgment day, that the leaders of the tribes will be uh, the liars. What is it, Muhammad? He says the leaders of the tribes who, who rejected him, they are liars. What does that mean? All the caliphate, they kill each other in his time. And then the one who control the market is the bad ones. Well, <laughs> and then from, from the signs of the judgment day, that uh, Maharib is going to be decorated. My friend, the Maharib is decorated from the time of Musa. Isn't it the Quran says, just to show you the stupidity of Muhammad. Isn't it the Quran says? And by the way, here the word atbaq is in front of us in, in the chapter of 84. لِتَرْكَبَنَّ طَبَقًا عَلَى طَبَق You see the word tabaq? <coughs> what the Muslim translated as a stage to stage. They make a satellite dish suddenly. But if you go in the Quran, you will see that uh, uh, time of uh, Suleiman, sorry. Uh, you will see the Quran speaking about maharib, which is decorated. If signs of the judgment day that... Uh, uh, a place of worship will be decorated well Allah is the one who order his followers to do that and not only that he ordered them to make statues inside the synagogue and the mosque chapter 34 verse number 13 so if this is a sign from the judgment day which means people they are corrupt that's mean Allah is corrupt for he is the one who ordered them to do so Do you see it? They translate the word Maharib as arches, and those arches have images and have Tamasil. And look at the false translation. You know, if we if we just change the translator, just change it. You will see the whole meaning change. Here we go, another Muslim. All right. Where is the word Timathil? The Quran, Allah, the God of Muhammad, ordering the Muslims to have statues of people in their mosque. <clears throat> Do you see it? So if this is a sign of the corruption, that means the Quran is a book of corruption and Allah is the one who made people corrupt. So do you see why the Muslims, the Muslims rejected for many reasons. The hadith is recited by supposedly someone is well known to be a liar like Muhammad. Secondly, it contradicts the Quran and contradicts the hadith, other hadith. So if this hadith is correct, that means Muhammad is a fraud anyway. Now, uh, we can continue reading the hadith, but there is no point really. It's stupid. It's garbage. But let me show you how truthful Muhammad is. Why you are quoting for me a hadith is rejected? What about we quote a hadith which is accepted? Muhammad said, and this is Sahih. This is what? This is Sahih. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih Muslim. What, what Muhammad he said about the judgment day? Read carefully. That somebody, when they came to, the, to Muhammad, and they said to him, when will be the hour? He said, uh, he looked at the youngest of them. He look at what? He look at the youngest of them, uh, Muslims. He look at what? He look at the youngest of them. Uh, Muslim, they cannot, they don't hear me. No. Muslims, he look what? He look at the youngest of them, of them, which mean a person he was between them. So he, you know, he is looking at the youngest between them and say, if this should live till he is, very old and here between two brackets the muslim they add something is not there he said your hour the death of people addressed addressed they are asking him about the hour look 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 at the false translation they added this between two brackets to cover the shame and the stupidity of muhammad what the question was when will when will the hour be what the hour be all of us, we will have the same hour. All of us, we will die in one hour. This is not about our hour 
as people who die, when the hour will be? This is the question. If you search in the hadith, what, what the hour mean? You will see it says it clearly the hour. The second you type the hour, it means judgment day. So asking when the hour will be, they did not say when we will die. I mean, look at this lie translation here. They added this, the death of the people addressed. And here, if you, know, if you think about it, if this is true, they are asking about his death. Who chose the youngest between them? And he says, when the guy, he became so old, all of you will be dead. I mean, this is stupid. <laughs> so a bunch of old people, they come to me and they have a little child with them. And I say, okay, when this guy became so old, all of you will be dead. This is what, no. The question was, what is the hour? Let us change the translator. To the translator. <clears throat> Just to show you how the fraud work in this cult, just to cover the shame and the stupidity of their false prophet. <clears throat> All right. This is the same hadith. Let us see what it says. Okay. When would the last hour come? Do you see it, guys? Do you see how the fabrication is exposed? People, do you see it? So the question was about what? The last hour. This is Judgment Day. And then Muhammad, he said, he looked. He looked at the young boy in the presence, belonging to the tribe of those people they are asking. He said, if this person, he lived, you will not grow very old till the last hour would come to you. Do you see it? This is Muhammad. And Muhammad predicted that the judgment, they started already. Isn't it the Muslim, they say to us, the Quran says in the chapter of the moon, that the judgment day is sight and the moon split. Splitting the moon is not a sign of the judgment day, it is the judgment day. And Muhammad all over the Quran, he was speaking about what will happen to you if you don't believe in him. As an example, Muhammad, he pretend or claim that the judgment day is very near, as we see here. Chapter 4, verse number 47. What Muhammad he said to them, uh, if you don't believe in me, uh, you know, uh, Allah will erase your eyes and your eyebrows and he will make your mouth in the bit in the back. All right. This is now that supposedly this is not about this is not about something will happen in the judgment day. No, but this is a sign of the judgment day to come. This is not about judgment day yet. Allah will do to you this because judgment day is coming. So he encouraged them to sign for his cult before it's too late otherwise allah will do this to their faces which is very stupid we did not see one single christian something like this happened to him allah erased his eyebrows and what does that mean i mean this is stupid right uh somebody's saying should we learn arabic learning language is the is the best thing to do to fight the cult of islam why not uh if we go in the quran I mean, you know what? When the Muslim they say Alhamdulillah, how the Prophet he knew this? You, your Prophet, how the Prophet knew the sunset in murky water? How the Prophet knew that women have a sperm coming from her ribs? How your Prophet knew that the sperm of the man is coming from the backbone? How your Prophet he he knew that the the sperm became a congealed dead blood? Huh? How he knew that? This is what your prophet said. Who in the world wanna believe in such a garbage? You are created from a congealed dead blood. The sperm, according to science, will transform into dead blood. Any Abdul in the bushes? So look at them. We have enough proof from the Quran that Muhammad is officially a prophet of stupidity. 
Nothing he say is true. Nothing he say is accepted, even by anyone, even if you are a Muslim, you have little dignity. You will say, Muhammad, obviously, he is a fraud. And this is how Muslims, by the way, they read for us. The verses in Arabic, but they don't know Arabic. They claim, they pretend that they speak Arabic to me when they call me. The second you start saying, no, no, read here in Arabic in front of me. They say, uh, uh, no, I didn't say I don't know Arabic. So look what the Quran says. Then we made the sperm into a clot, congealed the blood. Miracle. The sperm of the man transformed into dead blood. And then we made the clot, which is the congealed dead blood, we made it into lump. You see here they say photos. What photos? It says lump. It says it's a piece of a flesh. And then we made the outer the, 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 the lumps of the bones. So the last thing is the bones. And then at the end we close the bones. So you were inside your mom, mother, you know, as a as a, like a, a piece of bones. At the end, Allah He cover you with the, with the flesh. When all of us we knew that the organ they start to be exist from very early stages, like heart and you know, not at the end, right? So when the Muslim they speak about signs, the prophet is a prophet. We ask, what is the prophet? You see, there is a website. Muslim website and the title is what is the criteria for the true prophet who is the who is the one who made this article Muslims the religion of Islam wonderful okay what is the what is criteria tell us the evidence of his claim here we go the evidence is the Quran Muhammad is a fool Muhammad literally is a fool he think that the, the uh, 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 the, the bees, they eat uh, fruits and they, uh, they do poo-poo honey. He think women, she have a sperm coming from the upper side of her ribs. Man have a sperm coming from the backbone. Backbone? From the backbone? Yes, brother. So, the certeria of the Prophet, the evidence of his claim. Okay, what is the evidence of Muhammad's claim? Then he says the consistency of, of okay, Muhammad is not consistent. He says something in one verse. He says the opposite in one verse. This is what the Muslim call abrogation. How one day he says to you, it's forbidden for you to marry Christian women. And then after uh, after a few days, he says, it's uh, it's lawful for you to marry Christian women. Is that, this is what you call consistent of, of, uh, of act? The same God, the same prophet. What happened? How he said to you, it's forbidden for you their food, and then he says to you, it's lawful for you for their food. How he said to you, you can do muta, and then he says to you, don't do muta. Even the Arab, they were saying, look at Muhammad. He enjoy his followers something in the morning, and he change it afternoon. Crazy man. He says something in the morning, people they start laughing at him. By afternoon, Muhammad, he have to change it. Like as an example, in the case of murder. What is the punishment in the case of murder? Read and laugh. The stupidity of the author of the Quran. How this can be from God? Chapter 2, verse number 178. In the law of equity, the law of punishment for a crime, prescribed for you in the case of murder. In the case of what? A murder. Free for the free, slave for the slave, women for the women. So if a free man, he killed a free man, the free man will be killed. But if a free man, he killed a slave, a black African slave, he will not be killed. If a man killed the women, we killed his women. We don't kill the man. Have you ever heard of a stupid garbage like this? Later, Muhammad, he abrogated. Why? Because people start laughing. What are you talking about? So I kill his wife, he kill my wife? Muhammad, he thought this is the eye of an, an eye for an eye of Moses. <laughs> eye for an eye is what Muhammad is saying now. But this is not eye for an eye. This is an eye for a leg, you idiot. The guy, he killed your wife. You go and kill his wife. You see the stupidity? 
And the question is, if this is correct, if this is justice, why Muhammad change it? This is the case of murder. I mean, murder will not be changed. You see, if you ask Muslim about this verse, they will say this is verse is abrogated. Okay, why Allah He changed the law of murder? He found himself wrong. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, thank you for all the they are saying nice words in the chat. I appreciate you. So, you know, when they try their best to make videos and etc. and music and, you know, Muslims, they flood something, anything to support Muhammad, they flood it. They give it like, not like us, you know, like, you know, uh, uh, if, a, if a Muslim kid, he make a video sponsoring Islam, Muslims, they will swarm and join and subscribe and support. Here, look at us. We have 800, 900 people. If I am a Muslim kid saying stupid things, we will have way more. The devil always support the wrong. When you are saying the truth, nobody listen to you. Actually, even the hate with Muhammad supposedly he said, it says the same. And you know, yesterday, a person, a Muhammadan, and he posted in the comment section about my previous video, he says uh, the following. That, uh, uh, let me let me find the. Give me a second. Let me find the post. Oh, you know what? We passed the time. We should go to the uh, quality of life account. Uh, I don't want people to wait. The quality of life. We will be there. The title is called "The Lips of the Righteous Feed Many," and this is a, a phrase from the Bible. Uh, and we will we will talk about some uh, some stuff which you really need to understand and I believe it's important for us to recognize so if you like to join us uh, click at the link down below and we will be there in less than five minutes I'm going to stop now so to make it easier for people to download the video and we will be in five minutes in the other account quality of life again the link is down in the info let me post it here for you too you click and you join us there and the admin is, is posting actually already. Uh, we did not go there for a while, but uh, it's a very good area there to to uh, to be in. It's like our coffee uh, space where we Christians we sit together, we speak about things that have nothing to do with the garbage of Muhammad, and no Islam there. Period. I will not allow anyone to speak about Islam there. So there, it's only for issues we care for, for family, for us as a Christian. Even if you are a Christian, you are more than welcome because you will hear about many topics that benefit you very much because those topics is for everybody, not only for Christian, but for us always, you know, we have guidance, it's called the Bible, and we go, uh, uh, we we use our little wisdom from the Lord wisdom. So no man claim wisdom of himself because the wise man is the one who think he is really wise. I mean, the fool man, he's, he think he is really wise. Because always a human being, uh, wisdom is a foolishness compared to God. Uh, but we have always to learn how to survive this life and how to survive for the life after. For our life is a journey and is not going to stop here. So join us. We will be there in a few minutes from now. And with this, I want to say thank you. God bless you. And may the Lord bless us all and forgive the Muslims for all what they do trying to prove their prophet to be prophet when he is in fact he is a false prophet and here muhammad he have no mercy we got him busted not because we are against him i do not know him but we are against his crimes his teaching his hate a prophet of god he have a qualification as muslim this says and what is the qualification of muhammad he have a wife she is six years old he married women by making her father drunk so it would convince him that he married her when he was a drunk what is the qualification he marry a woman, she is way older than him because she is rich, when in fact he says to his followers, I advise you to marry young ones so you can sport with her, she can sport with you. Muhammad, the qualification is that you can lie in three cases to your friends and your family and your enemy who is left. Muhammad, the qualification is that he himself, he is a big fat liar, and he asks his followers to go and assassinate anyone who speak against him. This is the qualification of Muhammad. Muhammad qualification is very expert in putting nails in the eyes, cutting hands and cutting feet, for he is a mercy for mankind. If I want to count for you the qualification of Muhammad, it is in this. All of them, 
most of them is about his sexual organs to the point the muslim they are proud that the prophet he can have sex with 13 wives without even washing I mean, what can if this is true he must be a beast and they measure the authenticity of their prophet by his sexual power and then we find the quran saying that people are laughing at him saying you cannot even have children which means you cannot have kids which means you cannot have sex and then we find the hadith says that the prophet he don't have sex he imagined himself having sex in fact he did not do it and he was bewitched so let us make it simple the qualification of prophet in Islam is to be a bewitched prophet and the bewitched prophet is the one he is considered a prophet so if you are a person who is bewitched according to Muslims they don't mind to make you a prophet as you see he was what he was bewitched and even his sex was false even his sex have no witnesses he saw an angel nobody saw the angel Ibn Abbas, his cousin, he saw him with the guy, his name is Safwan, is, uh, 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 sorry, uh, uh, man, uh, uh, the most handsome boy of Quraysh. He asked him, what, who is, the, who is this? He said, what, why is he here? Late to, it's too late here. He said, oh, this is the angel Jibreel. But the angel Jibreel looked the same as the, 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 the same guy. He looked exactly like the most handsome young man of Quraysh and why he is doing what he's doing so late in your room so this is the qualification of someone Muslims they claim to be a prophet starting from being bewitched ending with being a person who have a lust after children ending with being lost with men ending with uh, being uh, accused of staying underwear uh, uh, ending with drinking or starting with it making his father-in-law uh, drunk in order to make him believe that he married him to his daughter. It's in this fraud from the beginning to the end. Again, join us in the quality of life. We will be there in a few minutes from now. And may the Lord bless you all. Again, this is the account and the admin is posting the link for you. And I will post it one more time. We we'll see you there in five minutes. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And God bless you all. Take care.